and welcome to Emma's ESL English. Today I want to talk about something that we can have, lose, control, watch, mind, temper. Hmm. Temper. In English we talk about having a temper. Temper is a, it's a bit of a tricky one. We use it a lot to talk about people who are angry. But sometimes it's something that we have that's part of our personality. Sometimes it's something that we can have and we can lose at the same time. And we can also describe a person um, by their temper. So it's kind of a weird one. <laughs> we use it in a lot of different ways. If I say that somebody has a temper, that means that they are, they tend to get angry very quickly or very easily. So if you have a little kid who's always screaming and shouting, then you can say, she has such a temper. But also her mother might say, don't lose your temper with me, which means don't get angry with me. So at the same time, we can have a temper and lose our temper, and both of them mean to be angry. The main difference is if we have a temper, then it means we have a general tendency to get angry. Whereas we, if we lose our temper, we're talking about right now, in the moment, we're angry right now. So somebody might say, I'm gonna lose my temper. What they mean is, it's like a warning. <laughs> I'm gonna get angry with you really soon. Okay. You might also hear parents saying, watch your temper or mind your temper. Both of those exactly the same meaning. Both of those means be careful. Be careful in English, we can say you're stepping on dangerous ground. So the parent might have noticed that the child is starting to get angry, starting to maybe look like they're gonna have a tantrum and or potentially you could be talking about a teenager who's maybe getting upset because they uh, they they wanted to go to a party and their parents said no no you can't go to the party and now they're like but i want to go to the party and their parent might say mind your temper meaning you need to calm down because if you get angry i'm gonna get angry and it's not gonna end up well for you they might also say control your temper. She needs to learn. I don't know why these are women. <laughs> uh, he needs to learn to control his temper. So again, we're talking about a person who has a temper, who has a tendency to get angry. And if we want them to learn to control their temper, it means we want them to learn to try and hold back that anger and not shout at people or be violent with people. A violent temper. He has a violent temper can mean that he's it's a really extreme temper and it tends to be super duper angry but it could also mean that they tend to be violent when they get angry so it could go both ways so having a violent she has a violent temper could just mean she gets angry a lot but it could also mean that she tends to hit things or break things when she gets angry we can also say they have a real temper. So that's kind of just emphasizing the idea of having a temper. They have a temper, they have a real temper, which means they really do get angry a lot, but we're just emphasizing that a little bit more. We can also say that somebody has a hot temper or a short temper. Both of those mean that they're, they're going to get, so it's all about getting angry. <laughs> they're going to get angry very quickly. And we can also say she's in a good temper. Man, English is frustrating. So generally when we talk about a temper with somebody, we usually mean that they are angry, getting angry, about to get angry, tend to get angry a lot. 
But if we say she's in a good temper, it kind of means she's in a good mood. We can talk about her temper flared. That means it. she got angry. So in a good temper, I think is probably the rarest of all of these. I think most of the time we're going to be talking about having a bad temper. Um, you being described as having a bad temper or losing your temper. Those are much more common than having a good temper. But it is possible for to have a good temper, meaning that you don't have any anger. <laughs> and it's also possible if somebody, usually a child, but perhaps maybe a family member, someone you're close to, if someone starts to get angry, you might hear someone say, temper, temper, which is a really annoying way of saying, stop getting angry, control your temper. So if you hear anyone say temper, temper, then what they're saying is calm down, control yourself. Uh, my mom used to say that and it really irritates me. So, <laughs> so yeah, I think it's probably um, something that we often say to younger children to try and tell them to calm down. All right. You might say, um, I can feel my temper rising. That means you can feel yourself getting angry. So I, I'm going to leave it there. There's a lot. <laughs> That's a lot of tempers. This one I think is really annoyingly English in that there is um, an exception to the rule. But that's a pretty rare exception to the rule. In general, when we talk about having a temper, losing a temper, having a bad temper, controlling the temper, it's all about anger and trying to not stay angry all the time or not get angry easily. And suddenly, you know, we go from being apparently a normal person to suddenly really, really angry. That's what we're usually talking about when we talk about temper. I hope that's useful. Feel free to send me an email at emmazeslenglish at gmail.com. You can always head over to the blog at www.emmazeslenglish.com where you can find all of this written down. And I will see you again next week. Bye.